hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i prepare my yummy okra soup if you're new to my channel please do well to hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning let's get cooking hi guys our major ingredients for this soup of course i'm going to wash this okra and chop it then i'll blend a quarter of the entire okra i'm going to be using for this soup then i'll set this aside and prep other ingredients while cooking for my family i use a variety of proteins because i'm cooking for different sets of people my toddlers will always prefer titus fish while my mother-in-law would prefer tilapia fish hence the reason i'm using both fishes in this soup i also have bombo which happens to be my my mother-in-law's favorite then stockfish and dry fish must make their appearance in all my soups because of the obonga nigerian native soup taste it gives all my soups in no particular order i'm going to put my proteins in the pot then i'll season them and allow them to cook for about 10 minutes ordinarily i would have cooked them separately but the price of gas is not adding up in nigeria so i'm going to sum them up and then take out my titus fish and tilapia fish in 10 minutes time i'm usually extra careful with fresh fish because i don't want it scattering in the soup and we are having lots of bone this is very dangerous for the toddlers so i'm going to take out this fresh fish right now and it will continue cooking in the oven of course i'm one of those that like the flavor from fresh fish but then i don't like my fresh fish soft so i'm going to take them out right now and then send them to the oven to dry completely now that our fresh fish is out of our way we'll allow our stock fish and pomo to cook for some time so that it gets soft and then we'll add other ingredients everything looking good we'll add our dry fish and let this cook for a few minutes more right now we'll add our red oil and then our blended okra if you enjoy your okra soup when it draws very well and also you want to be able to eat that large chunk of okra this is one trick you should try <laughs> okay just blend part of the okra and then allow it to cook for some time before you add the other chopped okra our soup is almost ready <sighs> mm, this smells really really good <laughs> so guys you can see how the okra draws now it looks like i even added obono but no it is just the blended okra so you can now begin to add other vegetables here is the okra in large chunk i'm going to be adding periwinkle more onions because i love lots of onions in my okra soup the flavor is exceptional then i have my ugu leaves i'm not a fan of ugu in okra soup but then i told you i'm cooking for so many persons grandma she loves ugu in her okra soup so here is for grandma lots of ugu leaves <laughs> then for me i am a fan of uziza here my uziza just made an appearance <laughs> i'm going to stir them together you can see how beautiful it looks i'll stir them together 
and i won't let this cook for more than two three minutes please remember i always want to keep my vegetables alive <laughs> guys our soup is ready look at that <laughs> you see how the soup draws and yet our okra is alive and green i i encourage you to try out this trick you know i'm sure you would love it remember our fish is still chilling in the oven so right now i'm going to bring it out and then i'll serve this meal right you all are welcome to my favorite part look at my tilapia fish let me have a taste of this goodness <laughs> oh my god this eba obviously does not want me to be great but what can i do i will test it regardless ah ah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy.